Hey Vikes, I'm Kaylee. I'm Emery, and this is your Daily News. SHS is offering content-specific ACT prep classes. All classes are $10 each and are from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Paid to the bank. There's an ACT power prep course on Friday, February 15th. Pick up the registration form from Mrs. Varner in the front office. 46 and Green Hills Road will be closed to a one-lane only in the afternoons of next week. <clears throat> Auditions for the Viking Variety Show are February 13th starting at 3.30. Please email Diva or go to W18 for more information. Please join the like-minded artists for the Seaman Art Club's monthly life drawing. The drawing session is February 14th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in room N01. The Seaman High School Show Choir will be delivering Spring Valentines on February 14th for a fundraiser. Orders can be submitted online. Shawnee County Parks and Rec wants high school students for a summer job working in aquatics, sports, maintenance, and summer camps and more. A job fair will be on February 18th at the Topeka Workforce Center. For more information, contact Olivia Mayer. The Shawnee County Sheriff's Office and other law enforcement agencies will increase traffic enforcement around the Shawnee County area high schools as part of, this, as part of the SAFE program. The phase will be February 25th through March 8th. Citations will be issued for those not buckled up. Seniors, the Seaman High School Alumni Association awards two $500 scholarships to graduating seniors. Application deadline is March 1st. The application can be found on the SHS scholarship website. Juniors interested in the internship program must submit an application by March 1, 2019. The link to apply to the internship class can be found below or on the Schoology class of 2020 page. FCCLA had a great representation at District Star Events competition on Wednesday, February 6th. Many are going to state. Here's the results. Now over to Sports with Kaylee. Do you have a gently used stuffed animal? If so, come donate one at the boys basketball game. I loved you once, now somebody else can. Come join the Teddy Bear Toss donation during halftime at the boys basketball game versus Topeka West on Tuesday, February 12th. The stuffed animals will be going to the Kansas Highway Patrol. There are many spring sports meetings coming. Be sure to check out the track and field on February 11th, girls swim February 13th, and boys golf February 14th. Today, Cameron Stanley signed a letter of intent to swim at Delta State University. Congratulations, Cameron. Now over to Josh with the weather. All right, good afternoon to you. Hope you enjoyed the day off yesterday. Let's take a quick look back at the weather we had Wednesday night. This is a photo sent in from Adam Schultz of the sleet that fell. And we also have a video from Braden Garls of the thunderstorm that rolled through around 11.30 p.m. Wednesday night. Freezing rain changed to heavy sleet for a brief period Wednesday night. Now, Moving forward, we're looking at another small chance of precipitation coming up Sunday morning. This is the picture at 4 a.m. Some light uh, sprinkles or flurries will be possible. Not expecting much in the way of accumulation from this. And as you can see here on your SVTV 7-day forecast, we are looking at rebounding temperatures for this weekend. Up to the middle 30s by Saturday, low 40s for Sunday and Monday then you can see that we do stay in the upper 30s to 40s through much of next week. I do want to talk about Monday real quick here. We're looking at a snow or mixture of rain and snow in the morning, eventually changing to all rain in the afternoon. So that's our next more significant weather concern. And then let's also look at the longer range real quick. The 8 to 14 day temperature outlook shows those cooler than average temperatures continuing and a wetter than average pattern. So that's what we're looking at right now. On Monday, we will catch up on what's different about next year's lunch schedule. 
Have a great rest of your day, Vikes, and don't forget to come to the game tonight and support the Vikes. Thank you.